everybody. Today I'm going to take a look at the Pocket Travel Fashion Designer Color Sketch Kit, which I paid 99 cents for at a local thrift store, but originally it had a Big Lots price of $1.99 and is recommended for ages four and up. It emulates a toy that came out in the late 70s, the Tomy Fashion Plates, which was pretty popular and was followed up with several different variations by different companies, including Tomy's own Mighty Men and Monster set, which targeted boys. This version advertises that you can create your own fashion sketches, hundreds of fashion combinations, built-in storage tray, travel-sized, and includes color pencils, crayons, and paper. This was made by Ja Ru with a copyright year of 2003, meaning this set might be over 20 years old. The back says the following. The Pocket Travel Fashion Designer Kit is great for young designers on the go. Its self-contained and compact design makes it perfect for traveling. Double-sided plates provide many fashion combinations. Just mix and match to create your favorite styles and colors. And then it goes on to show you how to use the toy itself. Opening the top shows two small black crayons, one of which is already in a special holder. Opening up the bottom shows four small colored pencils and extra design plates. In total, there are 11 double-sided fashion plates of various sizes and styles. Under the displayed fashion plates, on the front is a small set of paper which has been discolored from age. I decided to try to make three designs using regular computer paper that I cut in half. The first was a 70s bell-bottom outfit. I went side to side with my crayon even though it's recommended on the back to go in circles. I found you need to use pressure to keep the paper from slipping. The end result looked okay but there was a lot of black all around. But adding some color did help. Next was the traditional wedding dress. Naturally, my last design was a mashup with a wedding dress bottom and a casual top. Overall, while it didn't work as well as I thought it would, it was still fun to revisit this type of toy. And perhaps the biggest vote of confidence came from my two younger daughters, who have not only been using it a lot since I recorded the initial footage, but also they've been showing dad how it's done. What do you think? Do you have any memories of this type of art toy? Let me know in the comments below. Click like and subscribe and I will see you next time.